Okay, so I had a I had a comment on the video that I was putting the Christensen together on bases, like what model number, uh, you know, what brand or whatever. Um, so that's that's kind of a loaded question because it really depends on what rifle you have. So you've got different kinds of action. It depends on what kind of rifle you have. It depends on what action you have, whether it's a, a super short, a short, long, uh, micro. Um, and then it depends on what kind of cant do you want. Do you want no cant, like a zero MOA, MOA cant? Do you want 20 minutes? Do you want 30 minutes? What cartridge is it will designate whether getting a 20 or a 30 minute cant on your scope base will even matter. Um, for instance, uh, this is a uh, uh, 243 model 11, 111, or no, model 11. Savage. Um, it has a 20 MOA EGW um, base and then it's got an Athlon scope. The Athlon scope's actually been pretty good. It's been pretty repeatable. And this is the one Liam basically can draw smiley faces at 400 yards with. But anyway, so um, the cant will allow for extra adjustability in the, in, the, in the scope. So you can see how this one's fatter. So let's see here. Whoops. See, my oh, shit. My, oh, I'm still upset. Whoops, I had it right first time. So this is a Remington Long Action 700, right? And it's a 20 MOA base. So you can see how it's fatter down here than it is down here. So what that does is that that sits on the on the rifle like this, and then that allows for um, more upward adjustability in your scope for zero. Um, so if you have a hundred minutes of complete from the bottom to the top of adjustability in this scope when you're turning the turrets, like if I max it all the way down and come all the way up and it's a hundred minutes, right? Um, what that does is that'll cant that scope down in order to give you 20 additional minutes up in here, in, in here. So, uh, if it's 50-50, let's say you zero right across the middle plane, the, the center plane, and you've got 50 down and 50 up. Well, if you put a 20-minute uh, can, uh, canted base on there, that'll have you, that'll give you 70 minutes up and 50 down. Now, it also depends on what scope you're running. This happens to be a 30-millimeter tube. Um, most of mine are 30 mil tubes. Now, uh, this is a... Uh, Tika T3 super light and 308 um, It's got the loophole base on it, which I'm not partial really to one or the other for the most part um, But this is a zero MOA, a zero MOA base because the scope this is a uh, SWFA 3 to 15 It'll it'll max this cartridge out on on critters. No problem. I mean, this is you're maxing at about 450 500 with a 308 anyway that that is no problem for this the way it's set up right now. I don't need a 20 MOA base for this setup. Um, Seekins rings, you know, uh, that's a, that's a big part of it. Um, to you know, having good quality, it's kind of like having good tires on your car. Um, so let's see here. So this is to the Model Seven, right? So this is the action length. This is the difference in action length. That's to the Savage 243, 308, 243. They're both they're both basically 308 cartridges, um, but you can see the difference in the Savage, which is just a standard short action, and the the um, Model Seven, which is a, like I call it like a super short action. Um, they can still fit it, but it's really tight and it's lightweight and yada yada. It's very compact, um, but you can see the difference there. Now take that a step further. Still 308, but it's in a Tika action, which are all long actions. Doesn't matter what it's chambered in. The Tika T3 are all long actions. The Tika 595, 695, that's where you could get a short or a long action. But look at the difference there. So, bam. So, still 308, 243, same platform, but look at the difference in that. So, the point is, is that you'll have to figure out what rifle 
uh, what scope mounting platform is being utilized, whether it's Remington 700, Ruger American, Ruger, you know, M77, uh, Winchester Model 70, whatever, Savage, you know, um, all that's, those are all going to be different. Now, the Christensen, the Fierce, I do believe, the, the Remingtons, um, most of your your custom actions, like your Bighorn actions and stuff, I do believe that they're, they use the Remington 700 base system. Um, so there, there will likely be more available for the Remington 700, but you still got to know because the Remington, the Model 7 and the 700 are not the same. You got one that's super short and then one that's just short. Um, so you got to figure out what rifle you've got and what scope based mounting system they use. If it uses Remington 700, awesome. On their Christensen, that was a Seekins long action 20 MOA um, and yeah, so uh, man, where was I going with that? But it's all going to be different. So you could have the Christensen Arms Ridgeline but in 6.5 Creedmoor, well, that's going to be a short action more than likely. I don't know for certain, but that's a short action cartridge. It's likely to be a short action. Um, so you're going to use a short action base, and then you got to figure out, well, does the cartridge have any limitations where I'll even be able to utilize a 20, a Canon base, like a 20 MOA base? Is it, are you going to get anything out of it? Um, you know, it, it is possible if you go to like 30, 30 minutes or 40 minutes, it's going to drive that down so much that you're going to have trouble zeroing it. Like if you want a 100-yard zero, it's going to be difficult because um, you just won't have enough adjustability in the scope. So once you get that figured out, what kind of rifle you got, what mounting system it's utilizing, um, and then you can go from there. I mean, there's, you know, the it's... There's tons of different bases. I like the Seekins bases. I think that they're for the money, they're the best. Um, just like I think their rings are the best for the money. Um, or very, very close. Uh, the Vortex PMR rings are the exact same as the Seekins, from my understanding. Um, let's see here. But I just I just typically order the, uh, the Seekins. I go on eBay for that kind of stuff because it's almost impossible to destroy that. The, those those types of you know are like to you know to screw them up, um, but I do recommend getting good bases and good rings and a good optic. I'd rather have a cheaper rifle and a better optic ring mounting, uh, better optic and mounting system than an inexpensive rifle because you could have a thousand dollar rifle and a crappy scope doesn't do you a damn bit of good. Um, the likelihood of the scope failing, I mean. Most scopes fail, and that's just that's just the way it is. I've only ever had a couple scopes that just simply wouldn't die. Um, one of them is that six power SWFA. They very well could be the most rugged scope ever made, or very close to it. Uh, I've only heard of one failing on like the forms and stuff. I've never experienced a failure. I had two three to nines fail of the SWFAs, um, but not fail in a in, in a sense where they're completely useless. Basically, the the uh, the zero would wander a little bit, but not not much. But still, it was unex it was an unacceptable level of failure. Um, but this guy never had a minutes problem with it. Um, they are exceedingly difficult to get now, and mine are saying that SWFA is changing up their game. The other scope that I've had that just kind of will not die is a little crappy. Two to seven Nikon Pro staff that I keep on my 17, and it rides on the four wheeler. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it's been dropped and everything. I, for whatever reason, it just won't die. Um, won't shift zero. It's on a 17, so 50 yards. I'm putting them in a nickel, and that's kind of my test. Is about thumb thumb size group at 50, and I'm golden for squirrels and groundhogs and such. But anyway, that's the gist on bases. What kind of rifle, what kind of mounting systems it utilize, and then go from there. Uh, what kind of base do you want? Zero, nine times out of ten, you don't need 20 minutes of cant. I mean, um, 
figure out what cartridge it is. If it's a 7 PRC, 270 Winchester, 30-06, 300 Win Mag, 7 Rim Mag, 300 PRC, all those utilize uh, their, their overall length is 334. So they're going to be a long action. In some cases, they're going to be magnum, but it's still a long action. Uh, 308, 243, blah, 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 you know, all those. Um, short action, 653, more short action. And then if you've got something like the Model 7 or the CZ Mini, they are going to be, you're going to have a difference from that also. So just make sure that when you order it, you double check it. If you got any questions, shoot me a message. Hey, I got this rifle. I'll look it up for you. I'll at least try to help you out. And, you know, I mean, I make mistakes too, just FYI. Um, but yeah, if you got any questions, hit me up. I'll try to help out. Um, let me know what kind of rifle you got, what it's chambered in, blah, blah, blah. I'll do the legwork for you. It's no big deal. I like doing this kind of stuff. Thanks.